Hi everybody, I'm Andy Trice, a technical evangelist with Adobe. And one of the things that I like to do is come up with creative use cases of technology and how we can adapt our applications to different scenarios in everyday life. And one of the concepts I've been thinking a lot about lately is the second screen application experience. And when I'm talking about the second screen application experience, I'm not saying that the interface on my mobile phone is driving what's happening on an external computer monitor, um, but rather that what I'm seeing on a second screen, whether I'm at, say, at the movie theater or if I'm watching TV or if I'm even playing a video game, and having whatever content I'm consuming on an external screen drive what's happening on my mobile device, whether it's a phone or whether it's a tablet. Now, in these kinds of situations, you can't guarantee that there's going to be a network or some kind of a, uh, you know, socket communication between the devices because they could be two completely separate uh, technologies and separate form factors and you know if you're watching a video chances are there's probably not a way that you can reliably uh, establish a socket connection to your television um, at least not, not easily I'm not aware of one but one thing that you can do is take advantage of what are called audio watermarks and so audio watermarks are um, audible tones well I would say there are tones that are inaudible to humans so we wouldn't hear them but they're perceptible by the mic on your mobile device. And what you can do is listen for specific frequencies, and when those frequencies uh, or frequency combinations take place, then you can invoke an, an action within your application. So using this kind of technique, you can have uh, you know, your application respond to a, either a live video or that video game that you're playing or something that you've recorded and you're playing back on your DVR. So, um, I've been experimenting with around with this, and what I'm about to show you is a prototype of an application that's the UI is entirely written in PhoneGap. And what I've done is create a native plugin that listens to the mic on the device and detects when certain frequencies occur. And when they do occur, it invokes an action within the application. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So now that we've seen it in action, let's step back and analyze how it actually works. So the video is triggering, uh, or not just triggering, the video is playing a sound frequency that most adults can't hear. So the, the normal range of human hearing is 20 hertz to uh, about 20,000 hertz. But um, as you age, that uh, audible range decreases. And so what's happening is the video is playing an audio frequency at the upper end of that range, which most adults wouldn't be able to hear. Like, um, small children might be able to hear it, and definitely if you have animals in the house, your, your animals will, will, will hear it. But when the application detects those frequencies have occurred, uh, it's invoking a JavaScript function. And the JavaScript function is then um, you know, changing what's being viewed within the application. So in the video that we just saw, there is no connection between the video playing and then the tablet and then the phone interface. It's all operating based on sound. And what's really interesting about this is this, if we scrub back and forth across the video, it can jump to different points within the application because all it's doing is replaying the video, which is replaying that audio, which is re-triggering another event within uh, the application experience. So. 
Let's, let's take a look at an example of just scrubbing back and forth in the video and seeing how uh, the, the application responds.